All right, so this will be, I don't know if you'd call it Let's Play because, oh shit. Yeah, Hello, shit. Sorry, start over, start over because it's not. All right. What the hell? What? Okay, okay, I got it to work now. For some reason I clicked play and it just wasn't working. All right, everyone's rewind and start over. All right, now I'll click play in three, two, one. All right. So, I don't know if you would call this a let's play or a long play, because when you die, you don't really go back. I didn't have to use any continues. So I guess, Hello, I guess long play would fit it. This is Vicious Nick here. Or MV987001. We should be really playing Thunder Force. Not this game. What is Thunder Force? Thunder Force is another shoot 'em up, but it's on the Genesis, and that's why it's better. <laughs> why is it Just called Life that. Force anyway? You're killing everything. Okay, hey, hey Nintendo Force. beat out Genesis for two years. Yeah. Well, Life Force is actually Thunder Force, just renamed for the Nintendo consoles. Did you guys Renamed know? Renamed your game where you kill everything in a game called Life Force. And they also changed it a bit. Huh. They made it to more like organs and stuff instead of, you know, going to different planets. I, I'd, have to, I'd have to play to see what you're talking about. Yeah, but that, that's what it is. They, uh, because uh, the company, uh, I forgot what company made Thunder Force, but they wanted to make it for the Nintendo too, but they didn't want to call it Thunder Force because it was supposed to be a Sega exclusive. Yeah. Master Hand, you're not killing enough things in Life Force. Yeah, so shoot them up. <laughs> uh, yeah, shoot you them. know what's funny is that there's actually two missiles shooting off, but Kill I did not know Windows Movie Maker glitches could die. completely edit out the missile like that. I got you killed some more life. If you want to use it, I can send it to you. It's like, uh, I forgot what it's called, but I used to use it before I use Vegas. It's not as complicated as Vegas. Ooh. It works really well. Are these I'm not worried talking. about it right now. Are you recording this off of an emulator? Um, uh, no. Are you, like, inside a tiger? I just don't uh, talk itself uh, I'm, to I'm, to I'm totally using a console. Completely honest. Well, what I'm what I'm using uh, here, I bought this for $15. It's this uh, audio video DVD maker thing where you can just record from straight footage using AV cables or S video, and it works really well. And there's no glitching or anything. Oh yeah, I'm I'm t I'm totally I'm totally using that. I swear. Why is there like veins and stuff inside a planet? Because it's life force, the body. The yeah. planet, the well, body, or is it like you're inside a tiger? You know, to be honest, I don't even think, uh, I don't even think the, le the levels in this game really follow any logical progression through anything. I think it's just, uh, we want to make a cell stage, now we want to make a volcanic stage, now we want to make a temple stage, you know. Is I think, th I think that's volcanic? really what it is. Cause I mean, back then, games didn't have to make sense. It, just, it was just, oh hey, I get to sh fly through shit and shoot shit. Well, I think this is long after the period of games where we're not supposed to make sense. But the time it came around in Nintendo, I mean, the games had, you know, full storylines and everything. Well, it, it was a transition period. I mean, you see the score system. I mean, we were transitioning out of games being about high scores to games being about completion, but they still had score systems at that point in time. It was also transitioning into the, having refined stories. Uh, at this point, they didn't really have refined stories. They just, you know, kind of gave it a little bit of a story, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really as in, as integrated as it is today. Look at the mother brain. And I never liked that about Nintendo. Like, especially when you're trying to record a Nintendo game, most of the time you get a lot of flicker. I always hated that. Yeah. What the hell is it doing? Well, is that well, Which mother brain are you talking about, Nick? The one from Blaster Master or the one from uh, Metroid? Because you know, the, both of those act actually do Holy have shit. the name Mother Brain, if you can believe that. I yeah. guess it's the Metroid one, because there's an eye in the center. <laughs> and it sprouted arms. You know, it, actually, I'm trying to think. Was it originally there in the original Metroid? I, I know in Metroid Zero Mission it was. I'd have to... I guess if I could play, I wanted yeah, to die again, I could... Yeah. I think it was there, but I just don't... I, no, 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 it wasn't in the original Metroid. Damn, we should play a good game like Action 52. No, let's play some Afterburner. Let's play Action 53. Huh. Or the original Action. 
you play some fun games, you know. Doesn't have to be Sega or anything. That could be anything. Just Except fun for games. No. no. Fun games. What the hell is that walk you're doing from Star Wars? Huh? Oh, you're talking about those things on the sides. I. I don't if, even. If the Empire had those, they would have mad one that more. Like they should have. I don't even know if that's really supposed to be, because you gotta remember, you're supposed to be in space, I guess, uh, so I guess gravity doesn't apply and you can, I don't know. If the Empire had those, the Jedi wouldn't have stand a chance. Yeah. Fucking but Skywalker. the thing is, I'm not even, I'm not even sure if, uh, if that isn't the ground. I think you're in, like, a parallel universe, and the frick, is that mountain shitting rocks? No, it's, it's a volcano. It's like it's like lava bomb. It's like it's like pooping on you. Okay, I don't like scat references at all. Fine, it's like peeing on you. Uh, that's better. Puking on you? How about that? <laughs> well, the sky's puking on you. You, you guys are really entertaining. Talking about puking and peeing. Vol this right. volcano's under you too, and they're not doing anything. Oh, yeah. This game is really consistent. Huh. Well, once again, like Life Force, they kind of took two things that made Thunder Force good and tried to combine them. The, you know, two different versions of the shoot em up. What the hell is that? What are you now? Oh, that's the force field that you see. It's just, uh, I mean, it's really supposed to be flashing the ship. <laughs> between the <laughs> ship and, uh, Sprite and the force field Sprite, but it's just that, uh, Oh, I'm not when this movie maker does is definitely not perfect. You look like copying a, that. I thought you were gonna turn into a butterfly in a minute. I would make a joke about the white thing, but that would be too easy. Yeah, that would be. But what they took about two good things from Thunder Force. They picked up from Thunder Force two and three. Uh, the top head view like this, and then from uh, Thunder Force two, and then the just the ordinary side from Thunder Force three. Which, I don't like the top head view in Thunder Force 2, because it makes the game really hard. Like, try the game, seriously. You will not beat it. Kill all those innocent life forms, Master Hand. You killed them. So, so, so what do you kill here <laughs> now? Is the robot that controls them? I don't know what the hell this is. I think he's shooting vaginas. What's well, so really interesting is you see those uh, black things in the background. They look kind of like the, the level 1 boss in Guardian Legend, if you, oh you my guys God. know what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm not even gonna make a joke about this. About what? A weight thing going into a tight space. Eh. Stretch, you're stretching things, man. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty nasty-minded, but man, you're stretching things even by my standards. I think we're gonna have to 